Hey man, say man, it's your boy Mr. Bone, the budget himself. We back at it with another video. I know y'all see a Chevelle behind me, convertible Mustang. We got the box going on. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and show y'all an update of the frame because everybody wanna see. So I wasn't show y'all the final product, but we got some hiccups in it. So I'm gonna tell y'all about the hiccups that we got going on with the frame and give y'all an update. So these are not my cars. These are cars that are getting worked on. The owner of that car is standing over there talking to Dodge right now. So I'm gonna walk over here to the frame and I'm gonna flip the camera around. And I'm gonna show y'all what's going on. So y'all see big blue pages right here. There go the wheel right here. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show y'all the update of the frame and tell y'all the problems you're running into with the frame right now. It's nothing too crazy, but it is a hiccup, but we're gonna figure it out. So hold on. All right, guys. So here go a walk around of the frame. As y'all can see, we got parts laid out everywhere. Don't mind the Kansas tire is not done for those that's gonna nitpick in the video. As y'all can see, upper little control arms, the dust plate cover has all been powder coated and done. Wheel wood brakes is in the back with drill slotted rotors, extended Moroso studs we ordered from Jags, the ICT billet engine mounts. Pro 4 steering components. And for those that's wondering, in my last video, I told y'all I had the whole suspension kit, but the, what, what was it called? The uh, the pitman arm. We didn't have a pitman arm. That doesn't come with the kit. This piece here, you have to buy separate. It does not come with the steering kit. We got a new uh, Borgeson steering gearbox, brand new. Showing y'all a walk around because everybody want to see an update of what's going on with the Chevy. So now I told y'all we had a couple of hiccups in the mist. So y'all know in my previous video, we upgraded the studs to five, eight studs, right? We went to uh Mosher engineering, got new axles. The problem we ran into was first problem is the studs. I don't know if y'all can see them, let it focus the studs as he was taking the lug nuts off. They were getting basically bit up and ate up. No, he did not cross thread it. It's just possibly a factory defect. So we don't know what happened, but we're just going to get new ones. No biggie. It's not a huge problem. We're just going to get new ones and replace these. So pretty much they're like this. They got super tight towards the end. And then they were getting hard to basically go all the way. So we had to take them off. So we're going to get some new ones. Now, the second problem these spacers, as y'all can see, when you order the five eighths kit, you get two spacers. You get a long one and a short one. With my wheels, I'll step over here. With my wheels, which the wrench shop told me, I was gonna have to use both of these spacers in order to put the nuts on. Now, as y'all can see, this is an example of using both spacers, the short and long one, but it's not that much uh thread sticking out which is not okay we want to have a little bit of thread sticking out more than what it is right now so we're going to get these two fabricated well not fabricated together but we're going to basically get one spacer made we're going to go to the machine shop we already got the measurement we pretty much need the long spacer and half of the short spacer so essentially we need this much and half of the short spacer so we only have one spacer piece in there. But I'll show y'all the back of the suspension as well. QA1 double adjustable coilovers, trick chassis, lower brackets, trick chassis adjustable control arms, anti-roll bar. So y'all notice in my first couple of videos, Slate did the fab work here in the back. And here at Dobbs Fab, he boxed in the frame. and assemble all my pieces. And he also straightened out the frame over here. Over here, it was initially bent for those that don't know on the channel. He straightened it out and boxed it in. And he reinforced the lower control arm bracketing with another plate behind there. So that as we, you know, slam on the gas, it doesn't kick out. 
We haven't installed the center section yet, which is over there, my gears. So now I'm gonna tell y'all what's the next plan. So we're gonna get the new studs. We're gonna get those pieces. Once we have that, those back wheels will be on and we're gonna put this uh, cross member in. And once we have the cross member in, we're gonna assemble the motor. Well, we're gonna clean up the motor and we're gonna mount the motor and trans. So I'm gonna show you all the motor and trans because I did a little bit of wrench work today. I came in on my off day to try to do a little bit of work on it. So hold on. Okay, actually I forgot one more thing guys. So with these studs, let me see if I can get a good angle. With these studs, Dobbs had to trim the back of the studs here because on my box, I'm keeping the emergency brake. I know a lot of people get rid of the emergency brake, but I wanted to keep mine. So as y'all can see here, look right here in between here, I'm gonna rotate the axle. And as y'all can see, it's really close. Let me see if I can zoom in. Look right here, it's real close. And it's just clear, so see? So he had to trim that so that it could clear so we could keep our rear emergency brake. We wanna keep all components of the suspension. That's what, that's what I was aiming for. So he had to shave this and we're also gonna replace these and get new ones. And then we'll be back in the game, y'all, and we'll be at a roller. So you just gotta be patient. Like I told y'all, it's taking time because remember Dobbs works a full nine to five. So he comes in after he gets off work and get back to work. But this is something he really enjoys doing. So we're, we're coming along slowly but surely. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the motor. So here go my motor. I took off the alternator, the water pump, the uh, AC, and one of the brackets right here. So as y'all know, we got a 6.0 motor. I'm just taking these pieces off because we're gonna freshen up this motor. This motor is 535 horses. It has a cam in it. It's 460 to the wheel, 427 torque for those that don't know. So I'm just taking everything off because I'm gonna freshen it back up, clean it, paint it. And then once we paint it, this motor, trans, 4080 level five from RPM transmission, circle D torque converter. If y'all seen my last video, this whole setup is going in this frame. And once we get it to this frame, then I'll tell y'all what's the next steps. I can't tell y'all too much right now, but that's gonna be the next step. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and let y'all know what's going on. All right, so now that I gave y'all an update, everybody's been asking and begging me for an update. Y'all got an update. So the next time y'all see a video on the frame, I'm gonna say for sure we'll be at a complete roll, it'll be done. Don't quote me, but I wanna say the next video y'all see pertaining to the frame, Everything will be done. We won't have no more problems, no more hiccups. And then we'll be on, we'll, the next part will be getting that motor all the way together before we put it on the frame. So I hope y'all like this video. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. I'm literally dropping this video tonight so y'all can see and get an update. So go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe again. And drop a comment in the bottom in the section. Let me know how we doing on the frame. How is it all looking? Let me know what y'all think. All right, and we out.